Hello, my name is Tony Lau, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will go through the different types of big luck, also known as major luck cycle. Whether it's about benefactors, perhaps about money, or do you want power? Maybe it's about your mindset. How about we just get personal? Before we begin, hit the like button for some good luck today. It greatly helped the channel with the YouTube algorithm. I almost fell asleep the other day driving to a meeting and I had some clothes running into another car. Fortunately, I hit the like button that morning. I was spared. Also, I put on autopilot in my Tesla too. True story. So the first type of luck we're going to discuss is benefactor luck. Whether it's good or bad, when you're in this type of luck, you tend to get very comfortable. Many things can be done at your leisure. Often people's enthusiasm tend to decline in this cycle, which is not good if you have to study or take an exam. So you should try to encourage yourself to be more proactive in everything you do in life. So the good version of the benefactor luck, we call it the benefactor comfortable wealth luck, meaning you can easily accomplish anything without the help from others, receive wealth without any hard work. As an employee, you're easily promoted by good bosses, and those who are in business or self-employed are easy to meet good customers, and they will take the initiative to introduce more business to you. If you're just a housewife or house husband, it means you don't have to work hard and can enjoy the benefit of your spouses at your leisure. So the bad version of this benefactor luck is called benefactor comfortable lazy luck, meaning that you will become inactive when it comes to work. You do not seek progress. You're not willing to try to do anything. Other people tend to take care of stuff for you. You don't end up meeting good people, especially at work, like bosses are bad to you, you could easily lose your job. Primarily due to other people taking care of everything for you. So I would encourage you to be more aggressive if you're in this type of luck. Next, we have the most popular type of luck, money. When you're in this type of luck, it's easy to come in contact with a lot of money. Especially with work, you might come in contact with a lot of money through your job. It's also benefit for studying and taking exam as well. So it's not primarily just about money. It's related to studying as well. Also, for guys, money is also tied to relationship. So you may all of a sudden be attracted to a lot of ladies. Inevitably, this will also benefit your boss as well. You're lucky, your boss will take some benefit from it too. Just having this luck, you will increase your chances of meeting a good boss when it comes to work. For women, this will also boost the wealth of the overall marriage. So your husband will take effect from this. In a lot of cases, when the husband is in a bad luck situation, but the wife is in a good luck situation, the husband will actually be benefiting from the wife's good luck. A lot of time I've seen husbands with good wives, their fortune will rise significantly during these like periods of time, even though when he's not in good luck, but the wife is. So find a good wife with good luck. Now onto the good and bad. If you're in the good type of the money luck, meaning that you have money and you can control it and you can save it. It's an ideal situation to be in for anyone that has the money luck. Now onto the bad version. We call it the fake fortune luck, meaning you have access to money. You can look at it. You can have the money, you can pass it around, but you can't hold it firmly. It may be brought to you in kind, but it's money that you can't really keep yourself. In most cases, you're just spending it on meaningless crap, like going on a vacation, buy a boat, etc. etc. The only way you can save it is by investing it in something valuable, something that retain in value, such as real estate, Stocks, vintage art. I, I guess you can buy Bitcoin these days. Links down below. You want to get some free stock today. Over is still a luck, but for others, 
you can partner up with other people and they will benefit from your money luck. As long as you take a smaller stake than your partner, maybe you hold like 49% of the share and your partner holds 51% and you divide up the money and invest in something that retain value. That way you can keep your money and you can save it probably for 20 years and use it later on. That would be my recommendation. Next, we have the power luck. What do I mean by power? Basically, fame, status, your power within a company, organization, basically the power for doing things. If you're in politics, it will be political capital. This is suitable for anyone that work in corporate offices, develop businesses, or engage in managerial work. But it's not suitable for like self-employed, like you're just your own boss, you work freelance job, it's not suitable for that type of work. Also, at the same time, it's cherry blossom season for any females out there. Meaning if you're single, guys will come to you and propose. Now it's up to you whether you accept or not. But even after you're married, it will benefit your spouses. Sometimes we call this a helping husband luck, contrary to the money luck where it's helping the wife. You get a lot of help when managing your household properly, or if you co-manage a business together, the wife is very beneficial for the husband in that scenario as well. The wife is very beneficial for the husband in this area as well. Basically, you will become an essential part of the business or whatever you're helping him with. It also can be tiring too, so not a lot of leisure. Also, if just an average housewife, the power luck will also help you lead the family, organize them, go to school properly. Also, you want to work after the kids grow up. It will also help in that area as well. Let's get into the good and bad. So the good version of this power luck as your fame, status, and power improve, your wealth will increase accordingly. So say you get promoted to a higher position, your salary will increase accordingly. Makes sense, right? Now for the bad version. It's also called the employee power luck, meaning that you get some title, some fame, but the money doesn't come with it. Meaning you'll get more responsibility at work, more power to manage over others, but your salary might remain the same or just increase by very little. Meaning it's not scalable to the increase in power responsibility compared to your salary which nowadays is becoming more common for any kind of job these days. It's kind of sad to see that. Next, we have the mindset luck. These are the impactful period where it very affect your mindset. This will affect thinking, learning, and investing. You receive a lot of benefit from studying, taking exam, also any work that require critical thinking, creativity, such as design, creation, planning, and so on. So primarily focusing on your mindset. So you can see like when it's good, the good version of this luck is very suitable for those that are into investing or running a business. They are an essential part in synergizing and innovating your business or investing strategy. Now onto the bad version. So for the bad version, there are a couple of names for it. Sometimes we call it the business failure luck or the investment wealth losing luck. When you're in this luck, you can't rest your mind and just work. You're always thinking about ways to invest, try to make money again and again and again and you make money to invest repeatedly. When you're in a bad luck situation, you just need to make up your mind and keep working. Otherwise, this cycle will continue. Make money, invest, lose your money, go back and make more money, and lose again. You can see how this will spiral out of control if you let it continue. My recommendation is to invest into something that won't fail, like index funds. They will never go to zero. Follow some standard strategy that everyone else uses. Buy like 60% stock, 40% bonds, and just do that repeatedly. My organization is to 
keep working, invest regularly into boring stuff like growth company that won't fail, index fund, etc. Don't try the risky stuff like Bitcoin or the meme stocks because you'll fail at the end. Maybe you get lucky every now and then, but in the long run, you'll fail. Especially you, if you're in this bad luck. This is when luck plays a significant factor when you invest into the uncertainty of the market. <music> Lastly, we have the personal luck. This is very personal because it's all about you yourself. You are the only one that can impact the situation. And the outcome of this luck is all about hard work, personal strength to get wealth. Also advisable to develop into professional type of work. You have to do the work and work hard yourself. Don't expect a boss to take care of things for you. If you're in this luck, you can also try to develop a business on your own. Try freelancing, especially if you have the good version of this luck. For the good version of this luck, we call it the personal hard work wealth development luck. It's particularly benefit for those that are working unstable income jobs, such as a lawyer, doctor, people that work in finance, insurance, real estate, similar type of industry. Basically, means the harder you work, the more reward you get. And the busyness of the work is directly proportional to the increase in your income, but it doesn't help much if you have a job with stable income, like you get a regular paycheck that's the same amount every period. Sometimes the workload increases, but the income does not increase. It's not good to be busy in these type of job, unless of course you get overtime, but it's still not as significant as an independent. Contractor or someone that work in the self-employed environment. Now onto the bad version of this luck. It often means a lot of work with nothing to show for. Just a lot of hard work without any harvest. People that are in this type of bad luck definitely not suitable to work in any of the unstable income industry. As I mentioned before, just stick with a job that pays the same every two weeks or month. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Comment down below if you have any question. Also, check out my Instagram, Facebook. I post there regularly. And check out these videos we haven't seen them before. Next week, we'll be talking about the ninth sector of the home. We'll go through each one of them in more detail. Until next time.